All right, Noma, Noma lately, since her daughter showed up, it's kind of got us second guessing. Like, what's Noma really on, though? When's Noma going to start applying that pressure? Because right now she's into it with Zion. But, excuse me, Kane handled that. But they still got Tariq. But we're talking about Noma. So this is what's going to happen. No one's about to be using Kane full time. That's what's going on. Now, I know we were looking at Noma hooking up with Davis. I mean, that's Davis. Come on, man. We knew Davis was going to get that. Davis almost got Monet, but then he realized, you know, saying she ain't going to come up with that 500,000. He ain't trying to sleep with nobody. Davis don't do no broke with me. <laughs> yeah, Monet ain't got no money right now. But. No one's going to start playing Kane against the family at some point. She already got Kane wrapped around her fingers. We may think that Kane is this tough guy, but anytime you see someone like Kane trying to get in the ring, try to fight to prove his love, every night I got to fight to prove my love. Whenever you got to do that, nigga, that's not love. That's just you being a fool. So for him to get in here and fight Zion and do all that talking, oh, yeah, man, it's a hot, our name is good. She with me. And then she still go with Davis. She's going to be using him. Remember how Monet was trying to use Kane? Tariq would go kill his dad. I wouldn't even ask him twice. You should go kill Lorenzo. You need to boss up. You need to quit being a little bitch. Remember how she was treating Kane? She went to the girlfriend's house and told the girlfriend, tell Kane to get up. He coming back home. No one's about to start doing this. And this is where we're going to see the little family civil war. Kane already don't want to be at the house. How long before Kane finds out that she's fucking with Davis? Because that's going to determine how soon she's got to put a plan in effect to get Kane to turn on the family, to make him really a minion. What's up, RD? Now, I don't believe Kane went from mama's boy to Noma's boy. I don't believe that. I don't believe that Davis is going to give up any information. We know what Davis is there for. Davis is there for business. And sometimes you do got to mix. Sometimes, like, if we're just being honest, sometimes you do got to mix business with pleasure. Sometimes you do. Sometimes that's the only way business will get done. You got to mix it sometimes. As long as it's consensual, who gives a damn? But Davis ain't going to give up no information. But Kane is definitely going to get in his feelings, which is going to work in, in Noma's favor, especially with the family. Because think about it. If Kane finds out that Drew and Monet robbed Noma's trucks, he already don't like Drew. He already told Drew he's dead to me. What you think? What you think Kane's gonna do? He's gonna go back and tell Noma. Kane gonna go tell Noma, yeah, man, you know it was my brother in there, man. Fuck them. Like Kane, man, what? Came and flipped the script. Hey, Demarcus, you got too much faith in Kane, man. You got too much faith in Kane. You got too much faith in Kane. Hold on, let me show you Noma's about to be, who believes that Noma's about to use Kane against the Tejada family?
I'm going to show y'all why I know for a fact that Gnome is going to use Kane. Y'all remember this? This is all we need to know. This is all we need to know. If Kane was willing to do this for Tariq's sloppy seconds, it ain't no telling what he would do for Noma. There ain't no telling what he would do for Noma if he would do this for Effie. He go sucker. I mean, brother. He go sucker. I mean, brother. Noma got Kane right where she wants him. We remember this, Kane. We ain't forget Malcolm X. Malcolm C. That's what we're going to call you, Malcolm C. We ain't forget nigga broke into prison. What kind of criminal breaks into prison? Look, when Noma get to talking to him like this, when Noma look at him like this, man, this nigga Kane going to do whatever. Kane going to do whatever it takes. The only problem is see, is it different when you pull up? When you pull up to the house and she got that yak or that scotch, it's a different type of night than compared to when she got that wine. No more. I think we're kind of underestimating Noma. Ever since Anya's popped up, she has been. It seems like she's been a little bit weaker, but I think she's just building everything together. So when she attacks Monet, because her and Monet got a clash at some point. Remember, she texts Monet when Monet was shot and said, sit your crippled self at the crib. Don't come to work today. This is PTO, paid time off. Stay your ass at the house. Sick leave. Bring a doctor's note in. Do something. But Noma, I think she's, I think her only end is going to be through. Hmm. I was going to say only through Kane. But what if she sends Effie at the family? Could there be. What route could they take to send Effie in to fuck up the Tejadas? Exactly. They got to clash. There's no way we can let these big dogs stay on this show together and not go at it for something. A battle with the fits, you know what I mean? Who got the best outfit? Something. We're gonna have to see a pistol. We're gonna have to see a shootout. We're gonna have to see something between Noma and Monet. And right now, it seems like she got Effie on her side a little bit, but I'm trying to think. I mean, she could use Effie to go at Kane, and then have like Effie find out about the family through Kane. But that's just too much work. I don't know how they could use Effie. So it looks like it's only going to be Kane. Yeah, Battle of the Thigh Highs. Yeah, who got the best Thigh Highs? Who got the best Mink? I got Chinchilla. Chinchilla, huh? 
I'm pulling up in Ferret. I got Fox. You know what I mean? Peter, we just talking, man. We in the power universe, Peter. Don't throw paint on me. I wear cotton and them twins sometimes, Polly and Esther, but most of the time cotton. I think Noma's best best route is to just go ahead and use Kane. Listen, I know how to get the thing set off too. Have Kane come through. Get Kane on some of that scotch. Throw that thing on him. And when y'all get done, when Kane's tightening up the do-rag, because you know you got to readjust. If you're doing it right, that do-rag, that middle line, go from here to over here. That's when you know you're doing something right. If that do-rag is straight when you get done, you wasn't doing something right. That do-rag got to be crooked. The motherfucking got to be on your eye like the wraparound. The strings got to be around your eye like this when you get done. If it ain't, you ain't do something right. She throw that thing on Kane. Give him a little scotch. And when they in the bed, you got to talk to him like she's been talking to him. So you really ain't a mama's boy no more. You really your own man. I told you, you always going to be safe with me. Then she got a kiss on him. And Kane, he going to fall for it. Because right now, he think he moving up to that number one spot. He don't know that Davidson got a whiff of that thing. So now, she got to tell him, you know your family ain't never going to let you be the boss that you want to be. You supposed to be the biggest drug dealer in New York City, taking a page out of Tasha St. Patrick's page. But Kane going to be listening to it. She going to be all in his ear. She going to give him a little more scotch. She going to sit up. He going to be looking at it like, yeah, you're right. This is all I know because we already know he talked to Drew and told Drew, I ain't got no escape. I can't paint. I can't draw. I can't read. I can't write. You need to go ahead and tell me what the hell Monet and them got going on. They took our product, Kane. If they were still from me, what would you think they would do to you? They already tried to set your mama up, Kane. What you think they're going to do? And Kane would be like, you right this time. I can't let this shit slide. Maybe Drew was right about Monet. Remember when he was sitting on the ground? Talking, do it. Pull the trigger. Do it. Push a goddamn button. Now Noma's all in this nigga ears. She didn't do that thing on him. Once he fixed that do-rag, he all discombobulated now. He's like, you know what? I could be the man. I can get you your own borough. You can take over all the queens. You can run the territory like your daddy Lorenzo used to. Kane's falling for it. But this time... He ain't going to back out. This time he's trying to do some sliding. And he fucks around and kills Drew. <laughs> and he fucks around and kills Drew. Damn. All because of Noma, man. I'm trying, y'all. We, we, what other way could Noma get at the Tejadas? Other than through Kane. Because Don Carter doesn't know about Noma. He just knew about Obi. He knows about the Tejadas. Because he went and talked to Monet. What if Don Carter tells Drew to get at Kane, but Kane unalives Drew in the process? Because with Obi being gone, we know that the only way Don is going to survive in these streets is if he's getting a cut. So if he can get Noma on the payroll, that'd be nice because she's applying to Russians, allegedly. Noma could use the Russians. I think if Noma uses the Russians, that'll be on a hit like try to try to get Monet, though. That's who the Russians really got issues with. Damn. It's just so many. Because then Davis could be used by Tariq to set up any of them. Tariq and Monet common enemy is Noma. 
Tariq and Davis are business partners. Tariq can get with Davis. They can set Noma up, let Monet know. And then, boom, we get that 1v1 between Monet and Noma. Monet takes out Noma. Now they got the organization. Don Carter is our last task. But that would put uh, that would put Davis too far in the game. No, 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 no. Scratch that. We can't put we can't have Davis this close to the game. I know he's suspended at the moment, but we can't have Davis this close to the game. If it was any other Rudy Pooh, okay, cool. But no, nah, we can't have my boy Davis this close to the operation. We got to think of a whole nother plan. Scratch that. Scratch that. We can't have Davis this close. We already lost Cooper Sacks. We can't lose another one. Davis and Tariq meeting with Kane and Noma. Yeah, that does happen. That is factual. You know, we got it. At this point, do we believe that Kane knows about Davis? Or it's just business as usual? I mean, we see Davis looking at Noma like, yeah, girl, come on over. Come on over to my place. Now, Tariq might peep that something's going on between the two of them. He's like, man, I seen you looking at Noma. <laughs> now nah, David just got something in his teeth, so he just, you know what I mean? You know, you get something in your teeth, you trying to get it out. That's all. They ain't nothing. Y'all overthinking it, man. David ain't on nothing. David's just something in my teeth. That's it. That's it. See, I don't, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I wish there wasn't a break. I wish we would have just got these episodes and knocked it on out the way. I mean, it's cool because it pushes us back so I could do a little bit of traveling. And I had to worry about like a Friday show, but I kind of wish we just knock out the episodes, man. After this week, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, we probably won't have too many power videos. I'll probably make a couple of them, but. Yeah, I really do think Noma's – She, I think her route is going to be through Kane. I'm going to be honest with you. I think it's going to be through Kane. What other, what other alternative route can we take to get at him besides Kane before we move on to, to Zion and what he got going on? Nah, Lili, that's that – that's that – that's the chick that burnt me. How the hell I get into this? Should have never came home with this. He had to get the little shot. Got to wait seven days. Can't have no action. That's that look right there. That's that scandalous. You could have let your boy know. You know what I mean? That's the damn. She looked good too, man. She didn't got your boy, man. I mean, y'all done been there before. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We adults here. This is the power universe, man. Like Tariq said, like Tariq said, it only happened one time. How could it happen like this? All right, man, we're going to go on to Zion, see what the hell Zion can do. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button on Mode IJ. Right now, we're just looking at different angles on the downfall of the Tejadas. 
primarily we're just trying to see what route each of these characters can take. And then we'll talk about Monet and we'll talk about Kane and their story since we didn't do that on Monday. 